Hey, uh, this is Pokeball35, and we are back with more Tinykin. This is the start of stream number two, as well as the start of episode six of Tinykin on YouTube. I'm genuinely surprised with how much backtracking and things I had to cut out uh, from the first Tinykin stream that I even managed to get five full episodes of content out of it. Uh, typically, I like to make episodes about, like, 45 minutes long, uh, because I feel like that's, like, the perfect watch length in my personal opinion, is around 40 to 45 minutes of a video for, like, a Let's Play game. But, uh, just with everything else, this game is, you know, short, so I have to cut the episode shorter to make perfect episodes. That way I'm not making, like, hour-long episodes of this game. So it's good to have them, like, a half hour. Whatever. We're back with Tiny Kin. Uh, previously, we started the game. We, uh, did all of Sanctar. Uh, and Foliana, I believe, were the names of the areas. Uh, since last playing this game, uh, from my perspective, it's been about four days, uh, Tinykin did update. It is now on version 1.0.4, um, and the image on the Switch updated. I don't know exactly what it changed, uh, but probably some bug fixes. One thing I actually did find out was a bug, was the intro to the game. So if I remember the intro to the game, it was like the nice animated cutscene before uh, Milo Dane crashed into the house of Ardwin. Uh, for some reason, there's supposed to be voice lines, and there just wasn't. Uh, maybe they got patched in, but there's no multiple save files for this game, as far as I'm aware. Like, clicking continue just continues the game, so I don't want to click new game and hear me losing my save file. Uh, so I'm going to mute this. I always have you listen to the intro, so. Aegis, my beautiful planet, shining with life, the home planet of humanity, according to what they teach in school. Nowadays, I'm the one teaching. I'm Maladin, an archaeologist and researcher in the most prestigious university in the world, and this is Nevis, my assistant. <laughs> I've studied relics, artifacts, and fossils, and my conclusion is clear. Humans do not originate from Aegis, but somewhere else. Our true home planet awaits us, far beyond the stars. During my research, I came across an ancient signal, clearly of human origin, emanating from a nearby galaxy. Since that discovery, I've been preparing to go and meet the originator of the signal. We've explored each planet from pole to pole. And now little dog it. friend is adorable. It's decided. Nevis and I will go to this mysterious planet to uncover the secret of humanity's origins. So if you're wondering where I got the uh, the title and the, and the description for the first video of this series uh, for YouTube, that's where I got it from, because I, I wanted to get a particular screenshot of something for, um, I believe, one of the thumbnails. Um, it was the, uh, no, it was the first episode thumbnail. I was like, wait a second, I found this thing and it had the information on it. Um, so, there's that. Uh, so now we actually know what we're doing. For some reason, the Switch version just didn't have that thing in at the start. So, it's probably now in there, but I can't check. Uh, something I did not do, I gotta remember the controls. Uh, I thought the soap board was the Y button. Hello, soap board? I remember it being the Y button. Controls. It's bound to the R button now? No. What? Why Why did it rebind itself to the R button? Uh, I want to go up here because we did not actually read the new artifacts. So, the Helix, Sculpted Knowledge... Sculpt of Knowledge is an object that Ardwin designed and manipulated whenever he shut himself away to work. The disposition of the sticks and colored rings can be uh, changed at will. According to Ardwin, uh, it is like a map of life and the key to lost knowledge. Also, I had to move my face cam over so I didn't like move it to the proper position. I mean, this guy's here, but you don't need to see him. The meaning of this sculpture is beyond any of the temple's best minds. We wait for the day when we can understand this superb artwork. <laughs> it is quite literally a helix of DNA. Steel Sting. The Steel Sting 
uh, is from a brutal yesteryear. Pay no heed to the aged appearance. It seems to have been designed to pierce through many layers of uh, chitin uh, in just a quick thrust. It belonged to Ardwin, who uh, taught us long ago the importance of pacifism. It is, uh, it is hard to imagine what kind of terrible trial such an inter inter interminable word being uh, being would have to face to need uh, have to face to need have needed this. <laughs> when times are hard, uh, force and violence uh, defeat reason. This sinister blade is a reminder and a warning. So there you go. That was that. Uh, we need to be heading back through here, back to Foliana, to get ourselves into the next area, which is located under this hatch, which totally probably has the rest of the pollen I was looking for, which I spent fucking 45 minutes trying to look for, which I cut out of the original video. It's time to move forward, my Uh, But you can go back and continue exploring places we've already been, if you'd like. The path to Balnea is at the end of the flooded tunnel down there. Go through when you're ready. I swear to God, if this is the rest of the fucking... Okay, wait. Now they're not here anymore. Hold on. Then what am I doing here? Uh, totals. 165. Did they move some of these things? I don't remember if I ended last stream with once with uh, 1065 in this area. But being perfectly honest, I don't want to go around and check to see if anything changed between the update. I am not in the mood to do that. All I remember seeing is that there was some pollen down here at the end of the last stream, and now there is not. And I don't want to go check anywhere else right now. Got some platforming. Waters of Balmea, it's the bathroom. <laughs> it is the bathroom. That is not where I thought we were going in this house. But I am so down. They were not in the correct spot just now. Are you sure we did the right thing? I don't know. Not really. I must protect my con uh, constant. Uh, constitutes uh, sleep no matter the cost, even if my soul is to be forfeit. <laughs> it was really mean, though. Good thing we're incognito. Without the objects we behaved, the party is over, and we should have peace for a time. Let's go home and rest. <laughs> Waters of Bonea. Sabotage in troubled water. I wanted an overview of the toilet. Master Rylodane, welcome! I am the mayor of the dung- I knew they were dung beetles, I just didn't say it out loud. The dung beetle pit- Of course they're fucking dung beetles in the bathroom as well. I learned that you were in Balnea from our component. I would like to hand it over to you right now, but I made a big mistake, and I need your help. We have neighbors, the silverfish, who live on the other side of the wall. They have a temperament that is very different from ours. They like to party, to make noise, to splash. Last night, their antics kept my constitutes up all night and almost flooded the place. With no other choice, I had to order the sabotage. I had I had to order the sabotage of the festivities to re restore a calm. Unfortunately, since then, the silverfish have been uncooperative. They are done with us. I think they even borrowed the scissors of the city as a revenge. Master Milodane, I beg of you, help me make up for my mistake. Uh, Parta Pupa. There is no... Uh, ven there is a ventilation shaft just up that leads to their atrium. My assistant, Colorox, uh, should be in the process of negotiating with them. Could you join her?
Is this what we're doing right now? There we go. That was a cool soft lock that the game had for no reason. Now we can play the video game. I need another 900. Uh, we do not have any tiny kin to our name. However, I don't know why I just completely skipped the tiny kin that were right behind me. I do, however, want to get a big zoom out of the toilet. Okay. So what are we working with here? We got five explosives. Uh, we can go into the toilet. Wait a second. Oh no. Oh, that's the exit. We just came out of the toilet. I understand. I didn't know what this was. Oh, I don't want to be in Folly on it. It's funny that I can go in there and then go into the, the sewage area or whatever and then come out of the toilet. It's weird that the toilet connects directly to underneath the greenhouse. But now we know there's no water in the toilet. <laughs> Wait a second. I see blue. Hold on, we need this right now. Whatever these guys are. <laughs> Look at this dude. They're the electric ones? I see. Well, we have our yellow Pikmin, which are now blue tiny kin. They're like electric blueberry from Plants vs. Zombies. You met my cousin, uh, Tim Lee? Uh, he was in Sanctar, like you. <laughs> Apparently the shield bugs are passing through there. He must have a full belly, at least. <laughs> so, we can blow you up. We can get green. I love green. This is the life of peace for this abund- uh, for this life of peace. For this abundance, thank you. My body is your temple, Ardwin. My love is my message. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Oh, we've got more candles to light. This guy underneath the comb bridge. Dung beetles and silverfish living together in harmony. A strange co cohibition, isn't it? For some, the shadows hide from the world. For others, it's a playground to experience vice. <laughs> Chilling with the music here. Master Milo Dane, this is more serious than we thought. If there's no party, there's nothing left for us to clean in the morning. Oh, well, the silverfish party and the dung beetles clean up all the shit. That's their, uh, relationship. I'm surprised some of these rolls of toilet paper are standing in the way that they are. <laughs> so what's going on with this? I can't particularly, like... Doesn't seem to be doing anything. However, there's a cupcake here. Can I murder the cupcake? Murdered. This is another bakery. His name, this, this baker's name is Dozen. Of course it is. Here you are. You're three bread rolls. I only asked for two, sweet roll. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. This is too much. I can't accept. Please, take them. It would make me happy. No, no. It's far too generous for you. Take the bread rolls and I'll shove one or, or I'll shove one in your face. Okay, I gotta remember you could interact with the frickin' lids. I don't have pinks. Uh, we need to find pinks to get that. Oh, I found pinks. Trash! Uh, can I get up there? No. 
That's water! I might have to jump from above to get into that trash can. Wait, Bluetani can love electricity. If you aim at an electric source, you should be able to place one, two, three, and many more in order to build a long conductive chain. Oh. Well. That's what they want me to do here, I think. I don't know exactly what I'm doing, though. Is there a way to, like, switch between? I can throw them on the soap board. I didn't know that. It just wants to throw the greens first. Well, I guess this isn't turned on or something? It's like... I don't particularly see them doing anything, so we'll come back to that. So, previously, when I last streamed Tiny Kin, there was a rumor going around of a Nintendo Direct happening uh, two days from that stream. It has now been four days since that stream, and it has not happened yet. Capitals and bother sending dinosaurs here. Well, we really need them. There's nothing like value, to nothing of value to steal, and not much to see or do. I like the shadows of the pit, but I wish Grandpa Part of Pupa would let me see the world outside one of these days. Nice little house you got here with Q-tips leading up to as a ladder. Everything's so cute in here. Everything's so cute in here. But yeah, uh, Nintendo Direct was not real. However, there is now. <laughs> Yet another um, rumor for a direct happening uh, in like a week or two from this recording happening. The time you're seeing this on YouTube uh, is actually, since I said I didn't realize I was going to get so many episodes out of the first stream, you're going to see this uh, Thursday the 8th. Wow, the day before Splatoon 3. Uh, but yeah, sometime in like the, the like in the 20s, I, I think what they said, like 22nd, 23rd, whatever in this rumor. Uh, and it's gonna have, uh, ports of, uh, Wind Waker and Twilight Princess from the Wii U coming over to the Switch. Except people have been saying this is going to happen for the next, or for the last, like, three to four years, so... Don't believe anything at all until it actually happens. Oh, it's a Titanic reference. This person's name is Rose. Jack, I miss him and his little silver snail so much. I thought of him as hundreds of toothpicks were piercing me at the same time. Master Milo Day and my family is convinced that being around a silverfish will only cause me trouble. Please take this gift, uh, take him this gift from me. Jack is not a very good swimmer, so I thought of giving him a board uh, as unsinkable as our love. New objective, it's a side quest. Also, those like, they're not like, I think they're just like, I've seen like pieces of gum like this and these kind of things, but they're more like pills, where you like pop them out of the tray. Uh, I want to climb back up this way. We're not going to grab that just yet, because I want to, you know, pretty much unlock everything I need first. Oh, it would have been nice to have these earlier. The vibes are very chill down here. Mom, who's Ardwin exactly? It's complicated. We don't really know. Ardwin is someone watching over us. That's why... You need to uh, say thank you, you understand? I don't know. Why do we need to go see him in the cathedral in Sanctar? Arden is kind. He helps all, whether they sit in a great cathedral or pray uh, to pray or pray at home in their room. Uh, well, I guess thanks, Mr. Arden. Thank you for being kind to everyone. <laughs> uh, 
let us platform across here. Hanging. I don't know how that is staying. This does not seem like it should. So I love how everything is like hung up. Everything here is adorable. <clears throat> this whole game is adorable. Um, let's. Now that we're back up here. Actually, wait. Nope. There's more stuff down here. I think I can just glide across this stuff. Master Mylodane, what an uh, what an honor to meet you. I am the humble. I am only a the humble pit man. I take care of serving everyone with good, fresh water. Speaking of which, you didn't uh, dirty the water by going through the bowl, did you? Nonsense. And now we have enough uh, green to probably get up here now. Nice. Let me get more green, and then that. So actually, can I go... On some sort of chair bench thing. Uh, we can get up here. I'm just going wherever the game takes me right now. Uh, this is up here. Light across. It's nice of you to come and talk to us. Sweaty people call us disgusting, dirty. However, it's because of our of, of our lifestyle that the house is kept clean. I mean, we have enough to eat thanks to these people. I'm not complaining. You ain't shit. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I didn't see. I didn't hear you. I was praying to Arduin. The temple in Sanctor is not very welcoming to my kind, so most of us pray alone in our own way. Now, can I do something with this? Maybe I have to turn something on up there to do this or something. I don't know for sure. Wait. I have to throw them on top? What's happening here? What am I throwing them at? Oh, there we go. I don't know what I... I didn't know where I was throwing them, but now they're here. So, like... I don't necessarily know what any of this means. Oh, there we go. I have to throw them up here. So, oh, here we go. Now we're talking. Now I understand. Okay, does that stay on? Shining light in the darkness. Light up the dung beetle's lamp in Balnea. Uh, are these guys just here now? All right, they're just there now. That's their life. Their, their, their life. Their live life. Uh, where else can I go? Uh, with the power of climbing, we can go anywhere. Got more pinks. King of the TP. Plenty of things to do up here. Just want to get across. I can just do it from down here, I think. Good. <laughs> we can go across this. Finally unlock this shortcut. Grab all that real quick. And we'll 
also a shortcut that leads to the bottom. Uh, I'll get that in a moment because I'm distracted by everything over here. Peel. He, it's finally my turn to clean up. Yeah, shit balls. I sense a big chance coming. Usually the tiny kin lie dormant in their eggs. Since you arrived, they've been hatching and following you, all excited. With great power comes great responsibility. Try to be careful with these little creatures, won't you? Yeah, it'll blow up your shit. That's all the candles. Oh, perfect, and there's stuff up there. And we'll you doing that. Get a whole bunch of nectar, pollen stuff there. Then we will go to the lamp. Okay, well, I might have to glide from up here to get that. Uh, one moment. Okay. I got five bubbles. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. go across these these pipes Get some secrets from behind get on top of you some leaves growing in here this still has the problem of leaves being annoying sometimes I just tend to fall off of them Shit. It quite literally is. It's making splart noises. I'm hearing someone flushing. That doesn't make any sense because there's no water in that toilet. Shortcut, I believe. Yep, all the way down to the start of the level. I'm just chilling with these vibes of the music. I love the music in this game, which is that no one has fully uploaded the OST to YouTube at the time of the stream. I mean, uh, getting the songs from the outros from... Uh, they have the OST uploaded to, uh, Apple Music. So they have, like, samples of the songs, I'm just grabbing them from there. Right, this is where I'm supposed to be for story reasons. Uh, you heard Parta Pupa. If we want uh, him to give us the scissors of the city, we need to talk to the uh, to the deputy mayor, Colorox. She's on the other side. Uh, but this access is closed. We need to find a way to open it. Also, hello, Pick Pick. Welcome to the stream. Ch uh, check out this power source, maybe by linking it to the mechanism by using Blue Tinykin. played in Minecraft before. I've used redstone. Honestly, this is the idea. This is what they should do for freaking Pikmin 4. Because I like the idea of yellow Pikmin, like, connecting electricity. In a... 
in Pikmin 3. But it was just, you throw them on the spot and they all do it. You don't have to, like, link up the entire cord like this. Like, there could be some good puzzles where you have to, like, throw Pikmin on very specific, like, platforms or whatnot to connect, like, an electric current all the way through. Perfect! I knew those little zappy fellows could help us. Oh, the rock should be through this passageway. Let's hope you can find some way to help her. We can't leave these poor uh, people to suffer. We also really need the scissors of the city. Uh, this seems very far away. And that I need more greens to make a big enough ladder to glide across that. Um... We have these shortcuts, I just want to unlock some other things. Get that done. Like, with how big these areas are, they're also very small. And I feel like I'm already seeing so many things. So I just want to cover all my bases with this. Make sure I'm not missing anything. As far as I'm aware, I'm not missing anything. Other than that big thing up top. Oh, nope, the sink. We didn't go on top of the sink yet. I can make that. There we go. More blue ones. You can get these reds. And go down the sink. Oh, yeah, there's shit in the sink. Let's go. A letter? Oh. Also, hello, little Marmar. Welcome to the stream as well. I have no idea what to say. I'm sorry. You should probably cut this dialogue short. I'm worried it might bore you. Uh, now I think that's everything, so I guess when we go to the other side of the level, that's where uh, the post box is going to be. Grab all of that. We're about halfway done in terms of... Uh, uh, pollen nectar count. Hydrate. I will do that in a moment. The perspective on this makes me feel like I'm falling, but I'm not. Uh, remember to drink water. There's only one more type of tinykin left to find. 